Hello anyone can learn to coders. Now that we've explained on a basic level what HTML is and how to use it, let's use it in real life. That is, let's actually use it in the text editor to create real HTML files. In the previous episode, I have showed you how to use jsfiddle.net to play around with HTML, but that's not exactly what creating HTML is like in the real world. So let's use a text editor. Currently I'm using Sublime Text, and I will show you how to create a real HTML file. At the very beginning of an HTML file, you must begin with the following line. That simply declares that this is an HTML document, and specifically HTML5, which is the latest version of HTML. Then we need to add a new tag called the HTML tag. We'll begin with a beginning tag and put an ending tag on the bottom. Now note that the top line, the doc type HTML, does not have a closing tag. It is just a single line. And this is the first example of an HTML tag that we've seen that does not have a closing tag. However, the HTML tag has an opening tag as well as a closing tag. We will then add a head tag. Here as well, we will have an opening tag as well as a closing tag. And for now, we'll just leave the inside of that empty. We then add a body tag, which again has a beginning tag, an opening tag, as well as a closing tag. The primary contents of our HTML page are going to be inside of this body tag. This is where we would put our h1 tag, as well as paragraph tags, and this is what the basic structure of any HTML file looks like. Now when you were using jsfiddle.net, it did not require you to add all of these lines, doc type, HTML, head, body, that was all in there for you. But when creating a real HTML file, you need to have this entire structure. Now the main stuff is going to be inside the body element, as we mentioned, but you do need that entire structure. Now let's go ahead and save this file. Now when you save an HTML file, you can name it whatever you want, but it must end with the extension of .html. So I'm going to call this blog.html. Now once you have all this HTML code ready, you can simply open up this page in your browser. I'm going to go into Finder. And right now you can see here is the file we just created, blog.html. If you simply double click it, it will open in your favorite browser. So here you can see that this web page opened up in Google Chrome. Here's our h1, Jay's blog. Here's our paragraph. Now one thing that's interesting to note is that look what's inside the URL bar on top. You can see it's a little unusual. Usually you see something along the lines of like HTTP and www. Here you can actually see that it's not accessing the web, it's accessing a file that is a file on your local computer. And you can see that it uses file colon, three slashes, and then this is the directory in which this file is. In my computer, it's in my users folder, inside an MVP folder, which is inside that users folder, and then in that subfolder, we have this file name, blog.html. Now I'd like to point out one additional thing. If you look up here at the tab on top, you'll see that it says blog.html. Now usually, for any website, that is where you see the title of that website. So if you're at google.com, here it will say Google. If you're at Wikipedia, it will say Wikipedia. Here it's actually just saying the file name. And that's because we haven't declared a title for this document, for this web page. To do so, we are actually going to add something to the head tag. Now even though the body element is the most important element on the page, the title of the page is actually something that goes inside the head tag. So here we see the first use of the head element. So here we can add a title. And I can call this Jay's blog. So you can see this is a 
typical HTML element with a beginning tag as well as a closing tag. Let's save this and let's go back to our browser. Now note that you will not see any changes yet and that's because after every time you make a change to your HTML file, it will not automatically apply to your browser unless you refresh the page. So let's refresh and now you can see that up on top in the tab it no longer displays the file name but it actually displays our title, Jay's blog. So this is how you can get started building HTML pages from your own computer and viewing it with your own browser. In the next episode, I'm going to introduce some additional HTML elements.